We need to like glamorize being a nerd. Hi, I'm Louisa. If you've never seen my face before, and if you have, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna share some of the principles that have been fundamental to my achieving academic success as a college student. Well, fingers crossed, I'm not technically done yet, but achieving academic success as a college student while also maintaining my personal well-being. We have to take a holistic approach to everything in life, and I feel like we can really easily fall into the trap of seeing ourselves as just students and not as human beings. You are not a machine and treating yourself like one will not help you succeed. But Louisa, why should we listen to you? You're just a random person on the internet. Well, I am, but I'm also in my second year of college studying biology and neuroscience, and I got pretty good grades last year, but I feel like since then, I've really dialed in my study and lifestyle habits in order to optimize my learning and academic performance. And I really just wanna help other students feel better, and a lot of my habits are backed by scientific studies, and that does mean that they're generally beneficial on a population level, not necessarily for every individual person, but Ultimately, you have to do what's best for you. You have to look at what science says is healthy for human beings, try a bunch of shit out, see what actually works and what doesn't, and then edit accordingly. But that is to say, as a scientifically minded person, you should know that I'm not in the habit of spreading misinformation and pseudoscience or being dogmatic. Nothing I say is the absolute truth. I'm a human, I'm fallible. I'm just sharing what works for me because it might work for you and I feel good and I wanna help other people feel good too. You don't have to listen to me. What I do might not work for you, but you clearly clicked on this video because you wanna be a good student and some of my insights might help you accomplish that goal. Hydrate or dehydrate. Anyway, a huge part of being smart is acknowledging where you fall short and striving to improve. Finding the limits of your knowledge and trying to push them outward, identifying problems and doing your best to solve them. You don't have to have all the answers. You don't have to be perfect. You can. You just have to keep trying. Not trying for perfection, just trying your best. And with that being said, let's get into my three principles for success as a college student. Number one, your attention is a precious resource. Use it wisely. Pay attention in the classes you need to and not in the classes you don't. If you are taking a prerequisite course, and you already know most or all of the material by heart, and you're not passionate about it at all, you can pay the minimum amount of attention in that class in order to conserve mental energy for your more interesting and challenging classes, or for things you actually care about more, like hobbies or social interaction. If it's a class that doesn't really require participation, you can even multitask, get some work or studying done during that boring ass class, and you are actually allowed to do that as long as you still know the material by the end of the semester. The point of a prereq is to make sure everyone is up to speed for a more advanced class. And if you are up to speed and you are confident in your own knowledge, and if you know that you can get to where you need to be without paying attention in that lecture, you are totally allowed to do that. Of course, it is still nice to be present and engaged in easy classes when you do have the energy, which will benefit your classmates who might not be as familiar with the material as you are, and you can study by answering their questions and helping them, which is actually proven to improve your learning according to this 2020 study. But with that being said, pay attention in the classes that do matter to you. If you took a class because it interests you, you are doing a disservice to yourself if you don't pay attention and actually learn the material. Talk in class, ask questions, talk to your professor. Guys, I cannot stress this enough, Professors are literally just fellow adults. You should treat them with respect, but don't let them intimidate you just because they're professors. They can help you learn better if you tell them what is and isn't working for you. Closed mouths don't get fed, and you have to voice your struggles and discomforts in order for them to be actually accommodated. Professors are there to help you learn and to serve you, and you need to work with them. Anyway, engagement in class. Engaging with the people around you and the material itself can help you pay better attention in class, which is the most efficient use of your time. If you pay attention in lecture, which is usually only about one or two hours, you can save yourself hours of learning that you would otherwise have to do on your own time outside of class, which would cut into your free time and social time and make you less happy. Like, do your readings, obviously, like a lot of classes do have out of class learning. But my point is that if you pay enough attention in class, you usually don't actually have to like study the material for hours afterward. Like 
I never actually study things that aren't just like memorization based. Like if I have to memorize like a list of specific numbers or equations or something, I will make flashcards, do typical studying things. But like, if you pay attention, engage with concepts and understand them on a semantic level, understand the meaning of the words that you are putting into your brain, it's actually way easier to remember them. And I learned that in AP Psych in high school. And that is also backed by psychological studies. Now, I get that sometimes even if you are excited about a class, it isn't what you expected and maybe the professor sucks or maybe the textbook is badly written or boring. But you should still try to learn the material in more fun ways. If the class is no fun, create fun. Talk in class, put yourself out there, make friends in your class and study with them. Make jokes involving the material if you can, make memes about it. Watch YouTube videos from your peers about it if they exist, hopefully they do. We need to like glamorize being a nerd and find the intersection between things that are good for us and help us reach our goals and things that are enjoyable in general, which by the way, is the actual secret to happiness. I mean, if you're like a goal-oriented person like I am. Learning is supposed to be fun. And if your learning environment is making you forget that, do what you can to change it. My second principle is to work smart, not hard. I know this is a cliche, but I think it's actually really important. To me, this means working during the times of day when your brain functions best, which is different for everyone. For example, I naturally wake up early with lots of energy since I quit caffeine. Let me know if you want a video on that specifically, because that was a battle. And my friends aren't awake yet and nothing's really going on, so I use that time to get a jump start on my work for the day, film a YouTube video, read my book, do something that edifies me. I also work during those awkward breaks between classes that are like too long to just not do anything, but also too short to do anything big. My brain is still in like academic mode during those times, so it makes sense to use that momentum to get some work done so I have it out of the way, and then I can be fully present and not stressed during my fun social time, and I can be a better friend. I cannot emphasize how important it is to play to your own individual strengths here, and also to be gentle with yourself. Don't force yourself to do work if it's a time of day when you never have energy or focus. Take a break, have some fun, regenerate your energy, and try again later. Rest is what gives you the energy and presence to do the things that you care about. That said, identify times of day when you have very little energy and do what you can to fix that. Get some sunlight and fresh air if you can, drink cold water, have a snack, which is literally fuel for your brain, talk to a friend who energizes you, listen to some fun music. I know it's kind of normalized to feel like shit all the time as a college student and like drown your sorrows and stress by consuming substances that take you out of your body and mind rather than addressing the root causes of those sorrows and stresses, but that isn't the way it has to be. And I don't think that's the way it should be. And that leads me to my third principle. Find things that kill two birds with one stone. I guess the vegan version of this is find things that feed two birds with one scone. I've heard that before, but I'm not one of those people who's like super dogmatic about language. So find things that kill two birds with one stone. That is find behaviors at the intersection of productivity and fun. Identify behaviors that may be fun, but make you feel like shit and replace them with behaviors that are fun and don't make you feel like shit. This can mean going a little against the social grain in some cases, like going to bed a little earlier than some of your friends because the sleep that you get before midnight is usually higher quality, or not drinking at parties. I might do a whole video on alcohol because I have some thoughts about that. You can have fun while still engaging in healthy habits. Just because some things are normative college behaviors doesn't mean you have to do them, and it doesn't mean that you have to do them in order to make friends. Find friends who support you in taking care of your health. I guarantee you there are people at your college who have the same mindset as you. If they're cool with you not drinking, that's great. If they judge you or pressure you, find new friends. You don't have to remain friends with people who make you uncomfortable or unhappy. Life is too short and you don't have to please everyone. Not everyone is gonna like you. Not everyone is gonna agree with you. Not everyone's goals are going to align with yours and that's a part of life that you just have to get used to and work around. I might do a whole separate video on what it means to be a people pleaser and how to stop doing that in order to improve your life because it's way too common among people socialized as female and I only recently got out of it, but that has been really pivotal for me. I have so many more tips that are currently helping me succeed in college and I really wanna share them with you. That is, if you're interested in hearing more from me, 
And you can let me know that you are by liking this video or leaving a comment or interacting with my Instagram, which is at Louisa Miller out, L-O-U-I-S-A-M-I-L-L-E-R-O-U-T. Did I mess that up? I don't think so. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day and put some of these principles into practice. Try shit out, see if it works. If it doesn't, edit accordingly. Louisa Miller out.